Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Getting Started with Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. In this segment, we look at the new trimming tools inside Premiere Pro. By the way, we have this new subscription service. All of our online video training, tutorials, and webinars are now available via subscription. This includes all of our Final Cut 10 training and our new Adobe CS6 training. For one low monthly fee, you get streaming access anywhere, anytime via the Internet. Plus, subscribers can attend any of our live weekly webinars for free. This is a fast and low-cost way to access all of our online training. To learn more, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. One of the things that's new in this version of Premiere is the ability to trim an edit point. There's a couple different ways we can do it, but here's the important part. You click on the edit point to select it. Once you've selected the edit point, right-click on it. It pops up a menu that allows you to say, do I want to trim the in, trim the out, ripple the in, ripple the out, or do a roll edit. The steps are simple. Select the edit point first, then right mouse click and select what you want to trim, then trim it. If you fail to select how you want it trimmed, Premiere's not going to know. So I've set this for a roll trim. I could grab this with the mouse and drag it, and notice that when I do, two small windows light up in the program window that allows you to see how you're changing your shots. Or, what's even cooler, go to the keypad, type minus 15, it moves the selected edit point 15 frames to the left, or plus 30, it moves the selected edit point 30 frames to the right. Or, double click this, and when you double click it, it loads the trim edit window and it allows me to say move back one frame at a time, double click, double click the edit point to load it up, move back one frame at a time, move back five or forward one, forward five. But this is where this gets really useful. If I right mouse click on this, I'm going to do a roll edit. Remember, you've got to select this first. Notice I've got a blue bar here that indicates I'm rolling both. Use the J key. I'm backwards. When I type K, it instantly, in real time, allows me to trim the edit point, the letter L to go forwards, and K. So you select the edit point. You right mouse click to select what kind of trim you want to do. Double click the clip to load it up into this special kind of trim window. Then use the J, K, and L keys, or on the keypad, minus 20, enter, and you've just done a trim. When you want to get back out, click anywhere except on the clips themselves. It locks in that trim and switches out of the trim edit mode. This next is just amazing. Watch this. Let us uh, make this smaller here. Grab this clip, and drag it over, and let's zoom back in again. Plus key. By the way, if you've got a, a trackpad mouse, you can, you can zoom in and zoom out just using a gesture on the trackpad. I'm going to select this edit point. Hold the Shift key down. Select the next edit point. I now have two edit points selected. On the keypad, minus 20, Enter. I just trimmed that and left a gap. Why? Because you didn't right mouse click on it and say I want to do a roll edit plus 20 enter and I can trim multiple edit points at the same time. Remember select the edit then right mouse click determine what kind of trim you want then make the trim in real time in the trim window up above or just by using the keypad inside the timeline. This ability to trim multiple clips is amazing. Imagine doing a, a still montage or a, a montage set to music and somehow you guessed wrong and every single shot's three frames too long. Select all the edit points by holding the shift key down, click on each edit point, minus three, enter, done. Fixed every single edit all at one time. Whew. Oh, 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 oh. Another trimming tool. Notice that when I click on this, I select audio and video. What happens if you want to select just the video or just the audio? Hold the Command and the Option key down. Option, Command, Click allows you to select just the video. I'm going to do a roll trim. Or just the audio. I'm going to do a roll trim. In Final Cut, we use the Option key. In Premiere, we do Command, Option, Key. 
and we click on the other point we want and move it. Remember if you want to just do a ripple to one or the other, select the way you want it trimmed. Done. By default, by default, Premiere trims the out. Oh, watch this. Double click this. Let's see, set the roll. Double click. See this thing up here? See that middle button? You're in a hurry. You just want to add a transition. Click it. Automatically adds a transition at that point in the timeline. <laughs> ah, cool stuff. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. For the complete training, please visit our store at www.larryjordan.biz/store and look for webinar 68.